Alright guys, it's James with another video for Grubbs Garage. Tonight we're uh, we've been working on a lot of tractor stuff, so me and Asher were we've been kinda thinking about getting the mini bike going again. So I guess this is the introductory video to the mini bikes. This is my doodle bug. It's uh it's a late production because it had it's got the disc brake in the rear Hard to see. but and it's red so it's a later doodle bug but got this for free from my father-in-law when he bought a house it came on the property so he gave it to me and I happened to be looking one for one for the longest time so she was all stock but she's not stock anymore as you can see the, the first thing to go was the little motor you know this this is a Subaru six horsepower but it has a nine seven horsepower no it's a seven horsepower block and it's got a six horsepower head on it is what it is it's got an EX 17 head on a 21 block so C21 so it's got a really small combustion chamber of the E17 EX 17 but then it's got the bigger stroke of the 21. And it's uh, got a Makuni carb on it. It's got a catch can. Bunch of hoses for the oil. I said I put this motor together and we ran it at the 180 and I should have spent more time on the motor I got it done just barely in time and it's leaking it's not leaking what well, is leaking we got a lot of oil coming out all over the place on it it's with the governor deleted in it it's throwing a lot of oil you can just see everything's just covered in oil. So, didn't have a choice. We just spent all the money to get it built. I just happened to stumble across the block a month or two before the race. And uh, if you don't know, the Go Power Sports 180 doesn't have motor classes. It's just suspension or no suspension. So, when we raced it the first year, I put. The seat suspension on it to keep us in the hardtail class but i didn't want to be hitting the dirt bike jumps with no suspension so i got the front end and the the seat suspension and like i said this that the second year i built the motor to go super fast but we didn't need it on the track that they went on the second year but so it's having a lot of shavings in the oil too I was hoping it was from the break-in, but I took the side cover back off afterwards. I don't know, it's hard to see, but they're in there. So, we gotta tear the motor apart, see what's making metal shavings. Something in the top end, I'm pretty sure. So like I said, I had the side cover off and cleaned it out and there was nothing on the rod the billet rod there was it wasn't hitting on anything inside of it so it's got to be something on top end but need to fix you can see my handlebar came loose there had some fender damage she's all cracked there that's not too bad other than that she's really ready to go i'm going to try to get her going for springtime again i haven't done anything with this bike since the race the the race really messed my back up so she got thrown in the trailer here the mini bike trailer slash storage trailer and she's just been sitting in here getting neglected we lost this bolt during this nut during the race too but 
Yeah, that's my doodle bug. Like I said, it's got a Subaru EX21 front suspension, juggernaut clutch, tiny sprocket, gold chain, seat suspension. It's got all the gussets that you can order for it for Go Power Sports. Front brakes. Pretty much anything you can do to them is done to this one. It doesn't have lights or anything because I don't want to. No, I'm not really riding this one at dark. I got my mini chopper. I can ride at dark time with underglow and everything if I want. This one's kind of my race bike and my around the yard bike. So we got her up on the table here. So we'll see. Get the engine tour apart and see what's up. So, we started pulling this engine, and two more things we've noticed. Master link clip is gone. So, we lost that at some point, so that's good that we didn't lose that. And then the other thing I noticed was frame bendage. That was not bent like that before. And I will tag the video. But there's GoPro footage of me. The very first lap around hitting a rock and losing it almost. Like it's an incredible save. And I bet you that happened at the same time, because that was not broke. So I bet you that rock hit all of that and dented that frame. But like I said, I'll tag the video so you can see me almost wipe out. Because it's it's pretty good. But more carnage from the 180. I got her all cleaned up. And you know, this is a couple months, a couple months after I started the video, all the other recordings for the video. But first things first, you can see we don't have a catch can here anymore. Like I said, I, I built this motor right before the race. This is a, a Subaru EX21, but it has an EX17 head on it. And when I when I put that, when I switched the heads, I also deleted the governor. You can see there's no governor arm in there. Deleted the governor. I put um some 22 val some 22 pound valve springs out of a Predator in it. I did this Makuni car. It's a Chikuni, you know, fake one, Amazon. And um, that's pretty much it. I did a lot of research to do this motor build out of a, a lot of jet boat guys do it. They like to build these motors because they run super smooth and they just have a lot of a lot of horsepower with that overhead cam. But I got it all taken apart and um, I looked all on top end, all on the bottom end. I couldn't find any any signs of where my metal shavings are coming from in the oil. So we're just going to, like I said, everything is clean. It's so clean in there. I had to clearance a block to fit the billet rod that's in it. I mean, y'all, those little shiny as they could be y'all can't really see i'm just trying to look looks like there's a couple little glitter pieces in there Let's see if i can get it for y'all that gray looking stuff like i said the oil is pretty clean right now so that gray stuff that's what i'm talking about the the oil shavings but like i said i can't find where they're coming from so i'm just going to keep running it until something happens like i said there's i have plenty of clearance on my rod and my there's no i was worried that the valve springs were too tight and they were grinding into the cam but i don't have any cam there's no damage to my cam cam lobes so I said I got her put back together and I've been running it. Like I said the when I built it I was worried about blowing the side cover from the no governor. 
and I had that extra pressure in the crankcase because that's what happened on my Predator. So I had um, my the hose for the governor arm. I had a, a hose coming out and it came to the catch can. And then on my other EX-17, I had put the breather hose on a filter and when I tightened the clamp to it, it was too tight and it ended up just blocking this and it blew this the gasket in that cover. So I had this run into the catch can and it was just throwing oil all over the place. That's you can see in the, the first part of the video, there's oil all over the bike. And I was thinking how fast is all the internals were spinning. They was throwing too much oil up here. So I routed this back around to the front of the block here and it didn't fix anything. So we raced it with it just throwing oil all over the place. And so when I took it all apart, I deleted all of that. You can see I put little, just little plugs in all those holes there because this being an overhead cam, the timing chain comes up into the cam up here and then runs down, down to the crank. So all of this in here is open. It's all nice and open. It's not like a Predator where you only have the itty bitty little holes that your valves come up. So the pressure in the top of this head and in the bottom of the crankcase, in theory, is pretty relatively the same. So, like I said, I deleted those, and then my my valve breather, I guess this is what this is, I just have it running down to the frame and out here, because I don't park the bike in the garage anymore. So, she just gets to leak oil, and then she gets parked in the trailer. But, this is my doodle bug. She's, like I said, she's running all good. We're... Today's late, it's late Sunday. But this week, this coming weekend, we're gonna take the doodle bug, the double decker trailer. We, I haven't done any videos on it yet, but we're gonna do a video of loading up and I'll have a video of the double decker. But we're gonna take my doodle bug, the double decker, the van, and my brother's bike up to Oklahoma City for a ride out with the DFW trail riders so that should be pretty fun I said I don't have any lights on it but I do have a little light it's just a little rechargeable a little rechargeable Amazon light she pretty cute got a little tail yeah call her old doodler she's pretty fast I think it does right under 60 with that motor on it and everything and it's a willy machine but yeah stay tuned i got some videos of working on my brother's bike i have some videos of the the double decker loading it up but yeah y'all like and subscribe tell me what's going on like i said getting into the mini bikes now that it's springtime trying to have a little more fun but y'all subscribe tell your friends